The Multimatic 235 is a MIG, stick, and DC TIG machine, while the Millermatic 255 is a MIG, pulse MIG only machine. I did this comparison because I believe the applications for the Multimatic 235 will be primarily MIG. The Multimatic 235 has a duty cycle of 60% at 170 amps, which makes it a nice replacement for the Millermatic 212 at a similar price point with the added capability of stick and DC TIG with the optional accessory kit. It's excellent for welding materials up to 3 8 inch and has the finesse to weld that delicate 24 gauge material. The Millermatic 255 has a duty cycle of 60% at 230 amps, which is ideal for heavier fabrication and light industrial production up to those half inch material thicknesses. The Multimatic 235 offers a dual running gear option, which includes the TIG accessory kit. The dual running gear can also be purchased separately for the Millermatic 255, which makes a nice package if you want to weld with the mild steel inside the machine and an external spool gun. Both machines accommodate multiple types of spool guns, and the Millermatic 255 can even run the Aluma Pro push pull guns. Both machines have the auto gun detect feature, which means you can pull the trigger of whatever gun you have connected to the machine and it will automatically change to those settings. Both have the heavy duty aluminum two drive roll system and can accommodate four, eight, or even 12 inch wire spools. Both come with a 15 foot MDX 250 gun, auto set elite, and easy to understand operator controls. Let's take a closer look at each one. With the Millermatic 255, in the auto set mode, I can select my material and gas, the wire I put in the machine, and then the thickness of the material that I'm gonna be welding. The machine puts me in a window for my voltage and my wire feed speed that gives me a pretty good weld, and I have the ability to fine tune within that window. If I turn the auto set off, I have full range of control over my voltage and my wire feed speed. If I get into the pulse MIG mode using auto set, my volts will change to arc length and I still have my inches per minute for wire feed speed. In auto set mode, I can still select my different material thicknesses. As you can see, as I tab up in thickness, my inches per minute will change. The higher you go on the inches per minute, the more power the machine will give you. On the Multimatic 235, the first thing I'm gonna do is select the process that I wanna use. So I have my MIG processes, I have a couple TIG processes, and a stick process. Tabbing through those processes will give you a hookup diagram on the front of the machine for a few seconds to make sure you have the machine hooked up properly. And it'll tell you also what type of gas to use. The rest of the screen is similar to the other Multimatics that we have. Uh, we do have the auto set feature where I can turn that on and off. Again, in the auto set, telling the machine what wire diameter I have in the machine and material thickness will put me in a range that gives me a good solid weld and gives me some adjustment for fine tuning. Turning the auto set off, again, gives me full range of control of the machine for voltage and wire feed speed. The other nice thing about the Multimatic 235 is that it has Auto Set Elite in all processes. So if I want to come down here to even stick welding, okay, it's going to tell me I have a cable error because I have the wire housing connected and I need to connect my stick stinger. Okay, I can turn the Auto Set on and now simply tell the machine what thickness electrode I'm using and the material thickness. And again, it'll put me in the amperage range that I need, plus give me that fine tuning ability. If you're looking for a lightweight, portable, but robust welder in that 200 amp range, the Multimatic 235 MIG, Stick, and DC TIG machine is a great choice. If you require a little bit more power and want the pulse MIG capabilities for heavier fabrication, like off-road or even trailer manufacturing, the Millermatic 255 is the answer.